Hey guys, it's Tim from Advanced In Car Technologies here. Today we're working in a Smart 45342. It's a 2017 model. It's actually our one of our cars here. So uh, we're just sort of upgrading some bits, doing this and that. And the first one on the hit list is a reversing, uh, reversing camera armrest. So we've imported this. We've had a look at all the different models. Um, really nice Italian leather uh, with white stitching. Goes in down here very simply and gives you a nice little armrest with access to all the smart media stuff. So what we're going to do is just quickly run through how it installs and then um, just show you a few of the ways that you can use it. So first things first, you're going to need uh, a Torx T20 screwdriver to undo the little bolt that's in here. And then you're going to need a Phillips uh, to, uh, to do the new screw up that comes supplied with the kit. Big old unit there. Okay, so let's first, let's just zoom in a little bit focus it in so you can sort of see what I'm doing so take this screw out and there we go right so keep that somewhere safe because you never know you might need one and uh, as you can see on here uh, try and get it into the camera view a uh, little nubbin that goes in there and literally just just plumb straight in so pull this open so that's now nice and secure in there take this big screw here that goes in there like so and then you literally just have to start winding in okay right we're in make sure it's nice and secure push it forward obviously make sure that when this is in that you can get access to your your flap and all that sort of stuff access to your USB ports and all that Okay, right, so that seems pretty bolted to me. Now, as part of the kit, uh, you get a, a black piece of fabric to just cover up the things. You have to cut your own holes out. I've already done this, uh, so I've all I did is I got a piece of paper, drew around it, uh, and then drew onto this. So let's just zoom out a little bit again. Pull the sticky backy off. And then get it before you just sort of lightly offer it up. You only really get one chance at this. See, there you go, it's so sticky. So, had to pause the video then because it was really tough to, to, to get this all lined up and with the pressures of filming and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it's in. It's really nice. It, it, it's very bolted. You've got a nice little thing there. You can get access to your, your 12 volt socket, you've got access to your media stuff. Um, so I, for instance, I sometimes listen to Spotify through my phone, can do that. Or if you've got like a, a smallish USB stick with your music on, that can go in like that and it still closes. Um, yeah, I'm really, really impressed by this. Um, I think it's a nice little extra, especially if you didn't go for the Prime Premium Plus um, on the smart versions. It's, it's a really nice armrest actually. And you can move it forward, you can move it back, goes up, goes down. Um, there's lots of different versions available depending on the interior. I went for a, a sort of a dark charcoalish colour. Um, you might be able to see it here as I'm sort of zooming in. Uh, let me just focus it up a little bit. There you go. And you can see the grain between the two. The, this seat, this is the factory seat and this is the aftermarket. Nice white stitch and that sort of broken leverette on the, uh, on the top. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a really good bit of kit looks like it's factory moves backwards and forwards so if you're driving you can move it forward and you've got a nice armrest there while still maintaining access to all of the bits uh, under the under the uh, armrest uh, and when you pull the brake up you can just push it back and away you go um so yeah it's going to be available on the website uh, www.advanced-incar.co.uk thanks for watching bye